Hey everyone, Scott J. Way from Crucible Custom Props, North Forks Lab and all the forums here. So today we have something finally different, um, something I haven't done yet, which is cool. Uh, this is, of course, the uh, Empire Strikes Back uh, macro binoculars, or, or whatever. I guess they're called macro binoculars. Um, I don't think anybody ever talks about them in the film. But uh, these are the ones that Han and Luke use at, uh, in Hoth, on Hoth and uh, at the beginning of the movie in empire strikes back and this is a cast this is a cast from the original simrad laser rangefinder i think at least i think i, I believe that's what it, what it is and uh cast original parts a couple a couple real parts and um this comes from uh marcus already 172 on the rpf and this is his kit and um that's basically it <laughs> it is it's the kit it's a cast from original there's a couple real parts here like i just said um now we did have we did have an original uh, vacuum tube uh bottom but taking that off and, and getting it stuck on and then getting those pins out would have been more difficult than worth it really to be honest um than destroying the tube uh, I think the the owner could sell that and get a bit of cost back instead of using it. And this looks just the same when it's all painted up. So there we have that. So let me go over some of the parts here. And honestly, I don't know where some of them come from. I do know where some, some of the others come from. And I'm not quite exactly sure what is and isn't. See, the, the, the paint will flake very easily. What is and isn't um, original to the rangefinder. But I'll try. So I think this cap here is not originally on the rangefinder. Uh, I'm not sure about this. This actually might be uh, letting light in. I'm not quite sure how the original rangefinder works. This piece and this piece are um, from the Visible V8 kit, uh, their engine pieces. Now, I have pretty good photos of one of these original props and the way this sits this this wheel here sits up exactly like this and the kit came with a real one and a cast one and when i doubled those up it sat exactly perfectly where it was supposed to sit so i'm not sure if the cast has something uh, the original has something underneath it where this sits on or they did double up for some reason but in any case, this is, is exactly like the original prop that I have reference of. And I have very, very good photos of it. Um, but it's held together in, with a screw, a little wood screw. Um, so we also have pieces from the V8 kit, which are the, um, the cam, which has been cut off here and cut off here and painted. So this is exactly like the original kit. We have some, some bumpers here and a bumper there. And that's pretty much it, oh, other than this piece. And I'm not quite sure if this piece is on the original rangefinder or not. I really have to I look. I doubt, I don't think it is, but I'm not sure. Whatever uh, this has been put there is, seems to fit. But it was painted with these details and hand painted. So this is hand painted just like the original. It's pretty, it's pretty crude when you see the original up close. And there's a couple little gray details. Um, there's a different color gray here. And a different color gray here and here. There's two different grays on this, and red and a, and a kind of a black as well. Um, very straightforward, very simple, but cool. And this is we're going to leave this painted. And it just has a bit of a wash on it, but we're going to leave it, and it will it will chip as it has done just by sitting it on the table. It has chipped already, um, as you can see right there but it's going to weather naturally pretty well i did a little bit around here on this this thing because they're all like that the, the the original props are all like that the rest of it has just been chipped naturally just by handling it and laying it down on the bench and stuff like that to, to screw things in um but pretty straightforward pretty cool prop you can't you can't see through it i don't know if you can see through the original or not I imagine you can, uh, but it is cool. It's pretty accurate as well. Um, 
pretty neat overall. The only only thing would be cool if you could see through it and it would work, but this is what the this is what the prop looks like. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.